Well, anyway, um, so this week on Andy's Life, we've had a fantastic weekend. Um, and basically, went to a uh, party at Convoy in the Park. I will keep getting that mixed up with Party on the Pitch. Mm, nice shitty. So, yeah, not a bad time. Um, got to see Darren, Jess, meet Max, meet Matt with the hobby line. Poor, poor. That's a good walking scan here. Um, and he finally popped one of my photography stickers onto his wagon. So that's the very first one. Um, Andy Travis pops it on his trailer. Don't know what good that would do, but, <laughs> but uh, there you are. Um, so great night. Watched the night show, got some great videos, had some great laughs. Darren was very happy with the picture that I drew him. Um, I had a good laugh with Jess, as usual. Um, and I also got to talk to, who's he called? Josh Herbert as well. And his wagon is pretty stunning. For a 5 Series, that is pretty stunning. Um, then what else? Sunday, we went to Gloss Up, which were, of course, the classic car and military show. Missed quite a bit of it because they came out early because it rained. Kev Awood was also there. Um, he was just leaving in his Scooby. Um, so then after that, Monday went to club. Had a great time with uh, Paul, a.k.a. Grant, and Phil. Bloody hell, if you want a laugh, go to him, honestly. Um, so obviously it was the last week before the bank holiday and they are off. On the uh, for the bank holiday, Mrs. Smiley weren't there unfortunately, but uh, hopefully she's back next time. Christine did say she's going to bring her list in of who's single, so fingers crossed that Mrs. Smiley is. Um, what else? Well, I've just been preparing really. I'm still trying to do my business cards um, for the holiday next week, and I've got to clear a bit of the model room. I've got to take a few books to do with the historical material. Um, you know, the museums and places we're going down there. Um, and then got a few other things to do. It's a pretty hectic week, to be honest. Um, yeah, so today, today hasn't been bad, to be honest. Started out going to hospital uh, to do this bladder examination because I'm supposed to be having the camera down yet again. And last time that really fucked it up. So I had an argument with this nurse who was trying to say, well, you can have two things done. They can either sedate you and you're out for an hour or you can have the needle in your back, which is the, the actually anaesthetic. Um, and then from the waist down, you won't feel anything. She kept saying, well, the, the surgeon keeps saying the best thing is to um, be put out. I've heard stories about being put out. I know exactly what happened to my uncle 25 years ago. So that's something I really don't want to take up, you know. I don't care how much she or he wants that. At the end of the day, this is my choice. And I don't really want them to do it again. Because in December 2016, when they did it, it fucked it up even more. So that's the last thing I want, isn't it? Anyway, um... Some better news now. So I went out doing the photography. Um, saw Josh, who drives for Kev Airwood. So tracked him to Roundabout. Got some great shots for Kev's calendar. Um, that's coming in like November, December. I'm doing a few for a few people. As long as they pay me, of course. Um, what else? Saw some very nice loads. Saw, uh, saw Gav in his escort van. Um... And also before the hospital, I got some beautiful tracking shots of the next gen Scania as well. So I'm very happy with that. I'm getting a brand new phone uh, tomorrow because this one's totally fun with the memory card. And I need a new one anyway. I've had this since July of 2019. So all in all, apart from that nurse, it's been a fantastic day. We've got Barnard Castle truck show on Saturday. It's Peterborough. As everybody knows, this weekend, so I'm sure most people will be going there. Then, it's my holiday, and the Sunday after next, it's the Victory Show in Leicester. And I'm hoping to set off a, a few hours earlier, 
from the south coast so we can get to the show at a decent time on our way back so again fingers crossed um and then the monday i've got the club again um so all in all this week it hasn't been a boring week i've had something to do every day there's been a lot going on you know obviously preparing for the holiday then doing the photography and from um, convoy in the park i've had a couple of wagon drivers on to me asking for their photos but i've got over four thousand photos well actually that's a bit drastic isn't it <laughs> let's say around two thousand if you count the two folders so it's like finding a needle in a haystack but that russian cargo aircraft that 747 400f coming over us as we were talking to the guy from htf oh man i'll never forget that um, he also said that the guy in the workshop workshop next to him is doing up a 164 4 series and uh, he's got a replacement grill for it so I might be able to have his old grill for some of my shelves say up here so yeah hoping to call in tomorrow and see what the guy says so I'm looking forward to that um, convoy for Josh on the other hand I have to phone um Who's he called? Jamie Womack tomorrow to get the final preparation sorted out. Um, he will be involved as long as Josh Fletcher, friend of mine who's in Greece right now, is not involved. Um, the thing is with Josh, he's like a lovable rogue, but sometimes he can go a bit overboard. And whether that's pissed Jamie off, about what he said because I don't know what he said that's possible so we'll have to see what's what but I just need him to do these last few things then when I'm away he can give me the good news he can either say look it's on or we're unable so but the top and bottom of it to be honest this week it's been fantastic loved loved the show went into the Air Museum as well just a fantastic show got to meet some new people um so yeah and i can't say everything because this doesn't have much memory left um but i will however go into much more detail on my other youtube channel truck talk videos sometime in the near future and we'll see what's what and saying about truck talk i did a magnificent video night before last to do with the sir tom moore convoy that took place on july the 3rd loved the editing work on that so yeah if you get time have a pop over and watch it um next week still going to be a wednesday i'm going to report going to be reporting from down south may have been to the tank museum may have been to the sea forts i honestly don't know but normal schedule will still resume so that's no problem right that's in a nutshell fantastic week hopefully next week will be even better but we'll see and you never know who i might meet down south i might just find myself a woman so we'll see ta-da